Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. Today we've got something special. Today I'm going to be showing off the new OrCam system. A lot of people have been asking for me to check this out. So we got one here in the office and we are going to take a look at it today. Spoiler, it's pretty cool. <laughs> So there are two versions of the OrCam. There is the My Reader and then the My Eyes. Today we have the My Eyes. That is the more advanced version. The My Reader is the basic model. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head how much they are. I think it's $2,500 for the My Reader, $3,500 for the My Eyes, but I might be wrong about that. So this is a wireless system. It's a wearable wireless wearable device it's wireless in the sense that you have this battery pack slash controller that doesn't need to be connected to a an external power source but it is wired because there is a wire going from the camera to that battery pack now of course somebody me forgot to charge this up so we are connected right now to the ac power brick but normally you would not need to be. I also have it connected to a pair of speakers, external speakers. You might hear the humming of the speakers. They're really pretty crappy speakers. And I did that just so you guys will be able to hear the voice. There is a little speaker here that goes right next to your ear and allows you to hear the device. These glasses don't come with the device. This is just a pair that we had uh, to use as for demonstration purposes. So you get the device and you get these little spacers that will attach it to a pair of glasses. And there's a little tiny wrench, like an Allen wrench in there, and you kind of crank this on. So you would attach the little spacer and then the camera will pop onto that spacer. It can be removed, the camera can be taken off and put on uh, as you need it, but it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. So the controller has a couple buttons to take note of. There's a volume up and down button on one side the take picture button on the other. There's a little port for your power, which I am currently plugged into. The headphone jack is on the back side, and then there's a power button on the one side also. The device will put itself to sleep after a few minutes of not being used, and then it will also auto shut down after a few minutes after that. Waking up, battery is 0% charged. So I just woke it up from, it was asleep, just woke it up. We're gonna put these on and test them out. Not the best choice of glasses that we went with. So the device will automatically take pictures if it sees text. You can also press the capture button to do that as well. So I've just got a card here and we're going to test this out. Work for, text seems blurry. Please hold it. There may be more text out of view on the left. To read it, turn your head a bit to the left and try again. Of Lexington. Orientation every Monday at Sam Sharp, 11,450 and Broadway, Lexington, Kentucky 4050585. So to pause the speech, you just push the capture button again. Uh, make sure you're not pointed at any kind of text or it's gonna take a picture of that. But you heard that it told me that it, the, the text was a little blurry, hold it closer. Uh, and then it also told me that there was some text off to the left side that couldn't be seen. So I needed to angle my head a little bit better to the left. And then it took a picture and started reading it. I will say the OCR results come back very, very quickly. I'm very impressed with how quickly it gets the results and uh, starts telling you, starts reading that off to you. So another cool feature of the OrCam is that it will track your finger position. So whatever you point at, it will read that. If you're looking at a list, for example, and you just want to know one thing on the list, you could point at it, or a menu, for example. You could point at it, and as you pull your finger down the list, it'll read each line. So I'll show that right now. Orientation Eviary Monday at Cam Sharp. All right, I'll move down to the next one. Two euro, 1,450 and Broadway. Lexington, Kentucky 40505. Slowly moving, moving down the list. 
can inside the CV building across the street from Legends Baseball Field. So if you have a little bit of vision and you can see what you're pointing at, but you can't read it, then the glasses will read it for you. Now it has some gestures built in also. So for example, if I hold my wrist up, the time is 1.26 p.m. Uh, the speaker went out, but she told me the time. Let's try it again. The time is 1.27 p.m. Today is Thursday, April 13th, 2017. So it's kind of cool. I'm not wearing a watch, but if I hold it up as if I were looking at my watch, it will tell me the time and date. So the OrCam can also identify bank notes, money. So I've got a $20 bill here. We'll take a test. Blank area. Product recognized as $20. So the last feature we'll talk about is that the OrCam can learn people's faces and products and then store it in its memory. It can store up to, I think, 150 different images. So then later on, when a person walks into view that has their image stored already, it will recognize them and tell the person's name in your earpiece. Or if you're out shopping in the store and you see that product, it will tell you, it will alert you that that product is there. And it works pretty well. We've tested out storing people's faces and it recognizes them right away. It's really pretty cool. So it's a simple process to scan and store that image. We'll do it with a product here. You just long press on the trigger button until you feel the vibration and then you follow the steps. Start new product learning. Please point at the product three times at different positions. The center of the product. Let's try again. Please point at the center of the product three times. For example, hold it. Done with this side. You may point three times at another side of the product or stop now. Thank you. Please name the product after the beep. Cheez-Its. Press trigger button to confirm adding the product. Learning done. Product added. Okay. So that was a bit of a chore. Uh, it wasn't as easy as I was hoping it would be. Failed several times. Um, it probably took me about four or five times trying to scan it in for it to finally work. So we'll see if it works. Cheez-Its. The speaker is messing up, but it did have my voice saying Cheez-Its. The face, facial recognition, if the person walks in the view, it automatically tells you who that person is, uh, but it looks like it doesn't do that with the product. Sight. Awesome. Okay, so I took a picture and it read it aloud to me. So in conclusion, guys, the OrCam, it's actually pretty cool. Works really, really well uh, for what it does. Recognizing text, bringing back a response and reading it aloud to you. It's really accurate for that. Um, being able to point at something and have it read to you just that, that works really, really well. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone else here to demonstrate it on, but in my testing, the facial recognition feature worked really well also. The product recognition works. Uh, it doesn't work as well as the facial recognition. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is the My Eyes version. It has all the bells and whistles. The My Reader version, which is the cheaper one, only does the reading, only does the take a picture of text, read it aloud to you, and the point at text and read it. It doesn't do the recognition, facial recognition, um, product recognition. It doesn't do the gestures. So that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about picking up one of these. The company did say that they're working on future improvements, other features, 
Color recognition was possibly one that was coming soon. So they are improving on this, but what it is right now works really well. Well, there you go, guys. That was a quick overview of the OrCam system. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to help out. Link to OrCam down in the description below. If you liked the video, you found it helpful, you like what I do, please hit that like button. Really helps out the channel. If you want to stay up to date with videos coming out in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for watching. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.